The Chicago Bears are in a win-win situation. Not with how the 2023 season might go, but with how things will go after it. So Chris Canty believes that the Bears should sell high. They should ship out Justin Fields and get what they can off of him right now while he's still valuable. That may or may not sound like blasphemy, but before I dig into anything I gotta say, I gotta check y'all out first. Deeks, you said, did you use knee pads begging for all that attention? <laughs> Look, as funny as this shit might be, y'all gotta put some respect on Chris Canty's name, man. This is a former Super Bowl champion who was actually a pretty productive player most of his career. He's entitled to his opinion. Aren't you, you big f If I wanted to be just as big of a d like you were just now, did you post this comment hoping that you get all the likes and clicks on this mother Did you get your knee pads before you decided to comment under this post? Honestly, it's not wrong. If the Bears are in a position to pick Williams, there's no scenario they keep Fields. Yeah? Caleb Williams is supposed to be the next Patrick Mahomes. And if the Bears do happen to pick number one in this NFL draft, Justin Fields is out of there. Especially because his play will probably be a part of the reason they got the number one pick in the first place. So this isn't a terrible take. Patrick Ingersoll. Chris Canty, it's embarrassing you're allowed on national TV with these takes. I don't really see how this is all that outlandish. Justin Fields in 30 games as an NFL starter won six games. He's six and 24 as a starter at the time of this recording. It's not like he's been elite and the Bears have been mediocre for like what, the last five years? And in my opinion, Justin Fields is still a franchise caliber quarterback. It's just that system in Chicago might not be what he needs. Maybe he needs a change in scenery. Look at Baker Mayfield in Tampa. He kind of rebranded himself. Now he looks like a serviceable game managing quarterback quarterback with a good team. And I for one think that Justin Fields is more talented than a Baker Mayfield. I think that Justin Fields could follow that same exact mold as a Jalen Hurts or a Lamar Jackson where he could beat you with his legs and he could definitely dominate with his arm. We saw him do it back at Ohio State. Hell even back when he was in college he was arguably the best QB in the nation along with Trevor Lawrence who went number one in the 2021 draft which they were both in. Justin Fields by no means is he a scrub. He almost rushed for over a thousand yards the season prior. And with how the league works today, dual threat QBs is what the future of this league is. You have to be mobile. We don't have statues in the pocket anymore. Now would actually trading Justin Fields be smart if you're the Bears organization? Don't know. You can actually trade him for a potential weapon if you do get the number one pick. Or you can draft an old lineman to actually protect Caleb Williams when you draft him. But who's to say that Justin Fields won't be a top five to top 10 quarterback when it's all said and done? In the next three to four years, if he ends up in a situation like in Atlanta or even a Minnesota, somewhere where he could possibly makes sense and actually utilize his talents properly, Justin Fields could be a pretty damn good quarterback. The situation in Chicago does not paint who Justin Fields is as a player. Don't let that fool you. 